Welcome back, Beowulf Nation. It's I'm Beowulf, back at it. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. Existing subscribers, hit the bell notification. You get notified as soon as a video is uploaded. Check out the Amazon store, amazon.com slash shop slash I'm Beowulf. The free $25 with crypto.com. And then uh, I am Beowulf merch at beowulfnation.com. All those promo links are linked in the YouTube video. Let's get this going. This is... If videos can get weirder and weirder, what's going on in 2021 before it ends? It's getting crazy. It says here, a dinosaur embryo exponentially preserved in an egg about to hatch reveals links to birds. So there's this fossil that they found. It's crazy. I think they found it back in 2010 in China. And then it's taken 11 years, I guess, for them to open it up and shows a perfectly intact embryo of a dinosaur and how bird-like it is than a uh, reptile. And I just find this really interesting that this is, they've had it for so long and then now more has changed the light of what it looks like, but it is just amazing. Wow. I've, I've, I've been back a long time ago. I used to, collect a lot of fossils. I've actually found fossils myself. Um, I this, found this huge fossil that was in Missouri on my grandparents' farm out in the middle of nowhere and really neat. I've always wanted to figure out what I found because there is like, it's, it's like, like this big with fossilized bones in there that uh, it's most likely dinosaur related, but it's pretty crazy. I've had it. Uh, I got bones from uh, uh, Triceratops, um, duck bill dinosaur. I mean, I have a whole bunch of stuff back in the day. I think it's all since when I moved down here to Myrtle Beach um, four years ago. They've all they've been doing has been sitting in my closet, <laughs> not being used. They're just all packaged up how they were. And I guess I don't know what I'm gonna do with them. <laughs> but I got a lot of fossils. <laughs> I got actually that like Jurassic Park with the amber with the mosquito in it. I actually had that and it's pretty cool. I know the one thing I'd really like to get is, uh, and I think I found it on online somewhere who who makes this. But I've always wanted to get a fossilized T-Rex tooth and make it into a necklace. People go like, oh, what, Bill? What do you got? What kind of what kind of tooth is that from Bill? It's from a T-Rex. Not a lot of people could be saying they got that. And uh, definitely, I've been I've been wanting to do it. I've seen it, and I guess maybe one day I'll spend my money and buy it. But let's get talking about this. And now the most well-preserved dinosaur embryos ever found a baby dinosaur curled its back and tucked its head in a position that is similar to a modern bird's before they hatch. Discovery, the scientists say, could shed new light on how dinosaurs developed in the early stages. Peer-reviewed article published Tuesday by iScience said the dinosaurs had its head placed between its legs and under its body with its back bent along the eggshell, the research team said the position previously not found in any non-avian dinosaurs is comparable to a pre-tucking in a bird embryo like that of a chicken. And it's actually interesting too, um, chickens in their process before they're an embryo to hatching they actually have a lot of reptile related features, which they have teeth and claws, and they're more go through a stage of what a dinosaur would look like before they actually become a chicken, which is very interesting with that, of how that, how that is with dinos dinosaurs and chickens. By tucking their heads under their wings in the days before hatching, chickens can stabilize them and have a better chance of surviving the birthing process. The paper explained adding that this behavior was thought to be unique in birds but not made be traced to dinosaurs. Fian Washa Ma, one of the co-authors of the report said she was amazed when her first saw photos of the egg because it's rare to find a dinosaur embryo with most of the skeleton developed preserved in its original anatomical composition. The dearth of a well-preserved embryos means that the scientists are limited in their understanding of the dinosaurs before they hatch. 
Ma said in a situation that she hopes the discovery could change. About six by three inches, the egg encases a baby. I'm going to try pronouncing this. Or, 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 over, ovi, raptor, raptosaur, ovi, raptosaur. So it's part of the, the raptor family. Rawr. <laughs> A species commonly found in Asia and North America, which is pretty interesting. I'm in North America. That is noted for its strong jaw used to crack hard food. The egg was discovered over t two decades ago in Gazu, a city in southern China, where many oviraptor sore fossils have been unearthed recent years, but is sat in storage at a museum in Ying Lang in Fuja province for 15 years before the curator saw some of the preserved bones through the cracks of the fossilized egg. That's crazy. So it sat there for 15 years. That's pretty close to the time frame. 15 years before anybody even touched it. <laughs> That's just crazy. I mean, imagine what else is in storage that nobody knows what's going on. Said Ma, who is also a PhD student at Britain's University in Birmingham. Now known as Baby Ying Ning, the oviraptosaur measured at over nine inches and took up most of the space within the egg. The research team said making it the late stage embryo that would have been close to hatching. And I've seen a lot of stuff on social media with this and they're showing like a preserved like a live raptor <laughs> like a live dinosaur <laughs> that's all they were showing they weren't actually showing the real egg and i'll have a couple areas in this whole video where you see what it looks like because what they were showing on some news articles is not what was found it made it look like it's like a live dinosaur that they found and it's not it's like a rendering to nothing even close to what they found researchers estimated the egg containing a baby yingling was laid between 72 million and 66 million years ago. That's a long time ago. It may have been buried repeatedly by mud or sand, a process that protected the egg from scavengers and natural erosion, Ma said. Birds evolved from a type of dinosaur called a Mozazica era 250 million to 66 million years ago. While the evolutionary link has been established, Anthony Romeo at the Dinosaur Lab at the University of Queensland in Australia said baby yingling shows that the bird dinosaur relationship extended to shared postures while Wallace growing inside the egg. Romus helped to create a three-dimensional model of the baby yingling by Tuesday's paper. And that's what I was talking about. Is that they made something but it's not it's not what it looked like what they found. Earlier this year a team of Chinese and American researchers said they discovered a fossil of a Ovis raptosaur, also from the Gansu area, perched on top of a nest of its own eggs in an incubation pose, similar to what modern birds do. That's pretty crazy. So they, the dinosaur, when it died, was like still keeping its eggs warm right when it died. So it definitely shows that a lot of these fossils thought that something happened super fast and there was nothing that could have been done and it definitely really shows that with some of these things and it's not with this but a bunch of stuff is how a meteorite hit earth during this time and literally wiped out a fair amount of stuff um there's all different articles you can read about that i've done a bunch of videos of like a lot of stuff on um, nasa space force asteroid related and uh, definitely check those out because it's, uh, it's it's funny. All these videos I do, they all kind of like I've already said this before. They all kind of connect together somehow, and it's very interesting uh, how that is. So uh, it's definitely cool to share something like this. I find uh, dinosaurs has always been one of my things interested in. It's kind of funny too, is that you got Jurassic Park where they've never been really accurate on what dinosaurs were. I think they even said too, like when a T-Rex was born, uh, they had were covered in feathers. They really don't know if there's a mixture, even if the T-Rex uh, was covered in feather, feathers, uh, fully grown. So a lot of the stuff when you watch Jurassic Park, Jurassic World, any other 
dinosaur related movies, there's a very high chance that what you're watching is not accurate of what um, the dinosaurs are. And back about my fossils, of just me thinking about it, I had this fossil, I think it was from, I forgot what species of dinosaur, but it was a really cool fossil because they polished it up and you could actually see the blood vessels uh, from this dinosaur fossil, which is like extremely cool. And I remember being a kid bringing it to school thinking like, oh, kids would think this is so cool. And people thought I was bringing rocks because what they think, like when you go to a museum, you see these skeletons of the dinosaurs out there, they're just, some of them are like they modeled up off of not a complete skeleton to get an idea of what they look like. And people are so stereotyped with thinking that's what a fossil is, it's like some giant intact bone. And a lot of fossils found are like fragments of bones. So like it's not a full intact bone. So when you look at it, I guess it could look like a rock, but if you lick your finger, and it, your finger's wet and you, you touch the, the fossil, if it doesn't like move, it stays in position, it's a fossil. And I'm explaining this and maybe I'm just back when I was a kid, I was just way too smart. <laughs> it was like, I knew what I had, the teacher knew what I had, and all the kids were just <laughs> me not that intelligent. And they thought I was bringing polished rocks and stuff to school. I just thought I was so, I think, it, I laugh now, but at the time I was a kid, I was pretty upset, so, uh, you know. I thought it was cool. I found all this stuff and I bring it there, show and tell. And uh, they thought I was coming there with like an intact skeleton, which I couldn't, when I was a kid, I couldn't afford that. And most adults now couldn't afford a full skeleton of any type of dinosaur. I guess I've seen guaranteed an egg like this, if it was for sale, would go for out of this world pricing um, for what it what it is. Definitely, but I will have to find some type of person that specializes with dinosaur fossils to figure out what this fossil they have because actually sooner or later I should definitely do that. If you're new to the channel hit the subscribe button. Existing subscribers hit the bell notification you get notified as soon as the video is uploaded. Also to check out the Amazon store amazon.com slash shop slash I am Beowulf. Also to check out the free $25 with crypto.com and check out the I am Beowulf merch at beowulfnation.com. Be driven to win. Remember every day is Earth Day. Stay mighty and keep strong.